This presentation is about the similarities and differences of William Wordsworth and Thomas Hardy. Throughout the semester, we've run multiple texts from each of these authors, and I believe there is a general theme amongst them. William Wordsworth keeps things very lighthearted, where Thomas Hardy has a darker, more serious tone in his writing. Before I get into the details on how they could possibly relate to one another, here's a little bit of background information on the two. William Wordsworth was born on April 7, 1770 in Cockermouth, Cumberland. He lived with both of his parents and four siblings, Richard, John, Christopher, and Dorothy, who he was very close with as a child. After the death of both of his parents, Wordsworth was sent to his mother's family and was then sent to Hawkshead Grammar School. His sister, Dorothy, was sent to live with her mother's cousin, Elizabeth Thurkold. Due to how close he and Dorothy were, how he felt about the separation between the two of them is reflected in some of his writing. Thomas Hardy was born on June 2, 1840 in Dorset, England. He lived with his parents and four younger siblings. His mother taught him how to read before he even started school, and that developed his love for books. His family was Anglican, but his writings can imply that he struggled with the belief that there was any God at all. As many can clearly see, Wordsworth and Hardy have very different views on the world. For class, we read We Are Seven by Wordsworth. This poem is about a young girl who is approached by a man in a cemetery. During their time talking, the man asks the girl how many siblings she has. The girl responds by telling the man about the death of two of her siblings, the whereabouts of her other four siblings, and concluding that there were seven in total, including herself. The man became confused and tried telling the girl that since two of her siblings were dead, there were only five of them. The girl refuses to accept what the man is saying and goes on to repeat that there are seven of them altogether. This frustrates the man, but the girl does not give in. This shows how innocent the girl really is. Although two of her siblings have died, she still considers them a part of her family. She still talks to them every day and includes them in her life. Hap by Hardy is very different. During this poem, Hardy expresses his whatever kind of attitude. He feels as though if there was really a God who was causing him so much pain, that would be okay since there was someone's hatred behind what he goes through. However, he does not believe that there is a God to be held accountable. Instead, he believes that bad things just happen and nobody else is in control of that. This causes him to have a hopeless kind of attitude. This is completely different from Wordsworth's sense of innocence in We Are Seven. In addition to We Are Seven's lightheartedness, Wordsworth shares that kind of tone in Tintern Abbey. Tintern Abbey focuses on Wordsworth admiring the beauty of the world around him. He has returned to Tintern Abbey after five years and it is still just as beautiful as it always has been. He talks about the secluded landscape, the quiet sky, and the all-around tranquility of this place that is so dear to him. He then mentions a sister, who can be assumed to be Dorothy Wordsworth. He remembers the wonderful childhood that they had, and how they are now able to continue their lives together once again. Hardy's The Darkling Thrush is not so positive. It is the end of the year, and Hardy has compared the cold, dark weather to a corpse. He has reached a point where he has no hope for the future when along comes a dark going thrush that is singing a beautiful song despite the cold surroundings. He is baffled that the bird has found any reason to sing such a beautiful song. According to Hardy, the bird knows of some sort of hope that he is unaware. In relation to Tintern Abbey, this poem is the complete opposite. Although Wordsworth went through a rough time apart from his sister, he is still able to look at his past and his future with happiness. Hardy, on the other hand, is very pessimistic and does not believe that there is any hope for a good future for him. We can all agree that Wordsworth and Hardy are almost polar opposites when it comes to their writings. However, there are some similarities that can be found. Both of these writers gained a lot of inspiration from their surroundings. Wordsworth, on one hand, was inspired by the Wake District in England. Hardy, on the other hand, was inspired by his hometown of Dorset, England. Although the men go about their inspiration in two different ways, both of their writings reflect their surroundings that they grew accustomed to.